Hi, my name is Kenan Shu, and I'm the product and service engineer for Chevrolet Machinery. And today we'll be going over the eye surface control. The eye surface control can be found on our FSG 84 series machines. Today, for our demonstration, we will be using the FSG 1224 AD4. The eye surface control can be found on all of our 84 series machines. Let's get started. In this video, we'll be covering the control screen. What you see right now is the main page. You can see your machine positions. Over here, you can see your current feed rate, your spindle speed, which you can adjust using the touch screen, your spindle loading limit. That tells the machine that when it reaches the spindle loading limit to alarm out that something is wrong. So here it's set at 200%. When your spindle load reaches 200%, it will alarm out the machine. Here is your spindle load meter. You can see your basic programs on the controller. You have your surface grind, your slice grind, your wheel balancing mode, and the alarm page. We will cover the wheel balancing page in a separate video. First, let's go into the surface grind mode. In the surface grind, you have multiple options to select from. You can see it's a conversational graphic controller so you can see I'm currently in step grind mode. I can change it to cross grind, uh, crisscross mode, and you can see my graphic changes so the operator will never be confused on which mode they're in. So let me change this back to step mode. We're starting from the top right here. This is your surface speed. The machine runs on a constant surface speed and it has a variable speed spindle. So you just type in your ideal cutting speed and your RPMs will adjust to match your surface speed. Your wheel OD, you put in here, you put in your initial, and every time the machine dresses and you have the automatic compensation on, it will automatically compensate the RPMs for your surface speed and keep track of your wheel OD here. Your machine coordinates right here, this is to begin your Y axis. On our machines, the Y axis is the elevating. So once I touch off the top of my part, I will highlight it, the escape button, so then I can hit the teach in button and teach in that position. That goes the same for our Z axis, which is our in and out. And you put in the start position and the end position. On this side over here, we have our total stock removal, our down feed during rough grinding, when to begin fine grinding, our down feed during fine grinding, spark out, and safety height. If at any point you forget which each one is, you can just give it a tap and a description will come out and let you know. Right here is our Z increments, which is our in and out increment. Uh, right now, since we are on step grinding mode, it will take a step during rough grinding as the one triangle, and the three triangle is fine grinding. This is an inch and a half step, and then that's three quarters of an inch step during fine grinding. If I switch this to crisscross mode, this becomes a feed rate. Here we have our extra amount. Let's just say after my cycle, I can see that I need to take an extra tenth off. Rather than going over the whole part again, uh, I can just type in a tenth into the extra amount and hit cycle start. It'll come down to the last position and take that last tenth off for me. We also have our park buttons, our left park or our right park buttons. And this tells the machine if it's gonna park on the left or the right. And we have our dress interrupt button. So if we say we need a dress now, we tell the machine hit the dress button and the machine will go and dress. And then another grinding path we have is we have our two-way mode. We can set the two-way mode. As you can see, uh, all my down feeds disappear. This sets the machine into a two-axis mode and you can run the magnetic pulse generator on. If you turn it on, your MPG now controls your down feed in one times or 10 times and you manually control that. So we can turn that off. And then now we can head to the next page. So in slice grinding, you can see everything is practically the same. Surface speed here, wheel OD. And since in slice grinding, our Z axis doesn't move, it just gives you one coordinate. And same thing, you can teach it right in, hit the yellow, escape, and then the teach in button becomes enabled. Right here from top to bottom is exactly the same. It is total stock removal down feed during rough grinding, when to begin fine grinding, down feed during fine grinding, and then this, this one is spark out, 
and this is your safety height. And then on the slice mode, there is an extra box here. So you can let the machine to know if you want it to down feed uh, on one pass or two passes. You can go up to 10 passes before one down feed. And then this is for rough grinding. When did down feed, you can choose the left, right, or both. And then for fine grinding, when to down feed on both the left and the right, or just the left and the right. And that concludes the control screens. Uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call.